Okay, it's feeling good Friday. And since my last update, which uh, I think it was about a week and a half, no, maybe two weeks ago, I just thought I'd give you an update on uh, some progress. It's amazing what happens when you give plants water. This is my basil, which I think in the last one was not looking real good. It's absolutely cranking. I gave it some um, power feed, which is a liquid fertilizer or liquid food. Um, this is the Thai basil, and this is Thai, and that one there is the basil genovese. Um, it's going to flower here, but um, I'm going to let it just go to seed and drop its little babies in the in the tub below, so it can re-sprout itself for next season. So happy with that. Um, it's been fairly warm this week. Well, not really warm. Uh, mid twenties and uh, mid thirties. So. But I think it's going to be hot this weekend. In the wicking bed wall, the capsicum, long joe, I think this one is. I still have put the labels in. Um, yeah, they're loving it. Again, I gave them the same treatment. Plenty of water, topped up the reservoir at the bottom, and uh, gave them some food, uh, or liquid food, and they're happy as. The tomato, I didn't hold out much hope for it. I thought it was pretty much finished. We got this little bit here, but they're getting a bit crispied. Eggplants. Rob, these guys are amazing. Um, as I said last time, they were, they were all right, but they were looking a bit sad. And these things now, I've got flowers, huge flowers everywhere. Um, so I am, yeah, gonna make sure I treat them well. Um, I haven't noticed if there's any bees anywhere, but um, I'm going to go give them a bit of a tickle, I did this, this afternoon, and yeah, they're really, really pulling up. And this is the other capsicum, so that one's alright. Um, what else? I'll quickly show you the greenhouse. So as I've left the side up, the chooks have been in here tilling over my soil, which I don't mind, they can poo and not do whatever they want because things aren't uh, brilliant in here. Hmm. They've had a good go at that tomato they they kind of dig up in its root system so but anyway um yeah I'm, I'm still giving giving these guys food and water but i don't hold much hope for much fruit development there are flowers anyway but at this end the uh pumpkins actually had flowers on this week but they are all male um and at the moment i don't see any females but there's a second set coming in so you never know me luck might might get one might not probably won't um, and that one over there has got plenty of buds on it but nothing nothing superb lemongrass is being lemongrass looking pretty grassy and the pumpkins on this side bloody chickens have snapped my uh, cucumber Pumpkins on this side, again, buds, but, um, yeah, no flowers or fruit just yet. Whoop! Jeez, I can't look at where I'm focusing today, can I? Alright, one other thing that I'm a little bit, um, happy with, it's out the front, so I'll go and show you. Actually, let me just show you what happens here in Australia. We've got gum trees around here, which are these big buggers. Now, this tree, I think I've pointed out before three of us with our arms wrapped around it would only just make it around this trunk um, it's probably about you know, 300 years old it's a massive beast and um, at certain times of the year it drops all its bark which looks like this and it's everywhere it's like it's, it's animal shedding its skin I don't have a shredder at the moment, so I'm not really sure what to do with it. Um, because it's gum, it would have a fair bit of moisture in it. So um, I don't think it's going to compost down real well. It's, plus it's got the oils in it. So uh, it would probably more likely repel moisture rather than assist it. Okay, out to the front. To out the front yard, um, I have these canna lilies. These are the cannas that I rescued. Uh, well, just short of a year ago, I guess, somewhere about there. And this one out the pot out the front, because I, it's in a pot and I can give it plenty of water, um, 
it is amazingly healthy and happy and I love it. It makes my front area feel nice and lush and holiday-like. Um, amidst other bits and pieces we have here, this is two other pots. Well, there's one pot here. Um, this one was a clump that I had out the back. Uh, which you would have seen me ask questions about how to make sure the transplant takes. Um, they did survive. They um, they were doing all right for a while, but uh, because the summer came and I forgot to water or didn't water, I've now they've started to die off. So I've rescued them again, stuck them in these pots full of um, cow manure and potting mix, um, and given them some of the I think I gave them power feed, not sure. Um, and yeah, in that shoot there is a new one. And that was about a week ago. There's another new one there and another new one poking through there. So they seem pretty happy. There's another pot over here, which is similar. These have doubled their size. Um, and do we have new shoots? It pushes the straw up when there's a new shoot, so it's good. Oh, there we go. There's a new shoot. Lovely. So they're pretty happy. They like being in pots. Oh, there's another one. Um, yeah, so I can behave myself water regularly and keep these guys living. And hopefully they'll end up being nice and lush like that one. And um, it'll be all good. Orange blossom. Finally getting some flowers. This died back completely. There was only like one green leaf left on it and I was very worried, but it's looking good again. That's good. These plants, these succulents, somebody in my neighborhood cut them down out of their yard and stuck them out on the front footpath, which means what's out there is free to take. So I went and grabbed them. I haven't done anything with them just yet. They're just in a bucket of water, but out the front there where those succulents are which i grabbed for free from the next door neighbor um i'm going to i've got one more of those giant ones actually twice the size of those yet to grab from the neighbor to put in and then i'm going to put these little ones around around the outside of it all for free brilliant all right and that will be it i'm just going to upload this so i thought i'd sneak in a quick update seeing as i was in the mood had some time and feeling good about stuff Alright, I'll catch you all soon. Happy gardening. See you on the next one.